What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 17 of our Duke Road Primetime Dynasty. This is our week 10 game. We are playing the Connecticut Huskies in Connecticut, so hopefully we will have a good game today, and uh, uh, hopefully the weather will be on our side, but as it turns out, it is raining, cold, and we're having to face Daryl Jones, who is one of their star defenders, and uh, he's looking to make an impact on the game today as uh, everybody's getting stretched out and warmed up. Duke is wearing their all whites today, so uh, hopefully that will bring us some good luck as we uh, play our, I believe our fourth game on the road, or third game on the road in a row. So uh, first play of the game, Wright's going to hand the ball off to Stratton. Stratton's going to go to the right-hand side and get a nice block up field. He has some daylight, but he's finally pushed out about the 50-yard line, so now it's going to be second and second after four-yard rush by Stratton. And uh, Wright's going to hand the ball off to him after sending a man in motion. That was Jacobs in motion. Stratton will get a nice pick of about four on the play. So that will be third and two, which translates into fourth and one after a one-yard rush. Wright is looking to run the hurry-up the hurry offense. Sorry, And uh, he's going to hand the ball off to Odom. Odom will get a first down on that play. What a play. That was good. So after a negative one-yard rush, Wright's going to hand the ball off to Stratton to the right-hand side. And uh, he will go ahead and go to the right-hand side, but get stuffed at the line. So it'll be a no-yard gain on that play. So going to be third and 11. Wright's looking to run the money play, and he's going to drop out the pass. Going to look to the right. It's going to be caught by Reyes, but Reyes drops the ball. So it'll be fourth and 11, and they want to punt the ball away. So UConn will take over at the 20-yard line. First and 10, Moody is going to drop out the pass. He's going to look and look and look. Going to heave it deep down the field. It's going to be caught by Barber. And Barber has a first down after that big pass play. It's going to be first and 10 for the Huskies. And uh, Moody is going to draw back the pass. He's going to actually hand the ball off to Allen. Allen will go to the right-hand side and get a nice pick of about four on the play. So uh, second and six now for the Huskies. And going to be four. Uh, sorry, second and six. Moody's going to hand the ball off to Allen. Allen's going to go to the left-hand side and gets tackled by Robinson. And Robinson has first tackle of the game. Good play. It's going to be third and four after that two-yard two yard gain. And so uh, Moody's going to drop back to pass. He's going to look over to the left-hand side. He's going to find Hill, and Hill has the first down. So it's going to be first and ten for UConn. And uh, Duke's defense is not looking very good on this drive. But uh, Moody's going to hand the ball off to Allen. And Allen gets blown up in the backfield by Woodard. And, uh, you know, doing work on defense. And so it's going to be second and 11 for UConn. Moody's going to hand the ball off to Allen. Allen goes to the right-hand side. It's going to shred a tackler, really, and get a nice pickup. About eight on the play. So it's going to be third and five now for the Huskies. And uh, Moody's going to hand the ball off to his man. And his man gets nowhere. So it's going to be uh, – they're going to go ahead and uh, kick a field goal. And uh, – we're going to hand the ball to Stratton for a nice pickup, about eight on the play. So now it's going to be third and one. And uh, after a one yard rush, and Wright's going to drop it a pass. He's going to heave it deep down the middle of the field. And it's going to be almost caught by Osborne. He's also going to be breaking up. So it's going to be fourth and one. Going to hand the ball off to Stratton. Stratton and will get the first down on a big run play. So it's going to be first and 10 for Duke. Uh, you know, start of the th second quarter. And uh, Wright's going to go ahead and hand the ball off to Stratton. Stratton's going to break to the right-hand side, get a nice block, and he'll get a nice pick of about eight on the play. So now it's going to be second and two for the Duke Blue Devils, and Odom's going to get the ball up the middle for a nice first down play. So now we can see that Stratton is actually out with a abdominal tear right now, but he's probably going to come back in, but we're going to go ahead and hand the ball to Odom up the middle, and Odom gets a nice pick of about nine on the play. So it's going to be second and one, and it looks like uh, – Stratton is back into the game. He's fine. Second and one. Wright's going to hand the ball off to Stratton. Stratton's going to go to the left-hand side and cut right back up the middle and get a nice first down play. So now after a negative three-yard rush by Brian Stratton, it's going to be second and 13. And uh, we're actually going to hand the ball off to Odom. And Odom's going to get a nice pick of about six on the play. So it's going to be third and seven. We are 0 for three on the day on third down. So Wright's going to work the play action with Odom. And he's going to look to his left, and he's going to find Will Pruitt. And Pruitt has the first down. Pruitt's been big for us in the last couple games. So now it's going to be first and 10. And Wright's going to hand the ball off to Stratton. Stratton's going to go up the middle. But hold up. There's a flag on the play. And uh, we all know what that means. He's going to be holding on who else but Frederick Alford. Another 10-yard loss, basically. It's going to be first and 20 for us. 
And uh, but after a two-yard rush by Brian Stratton, it's going to be second and 18. And uh, Wright's going to go ahead and call an audible. Wright's going to drop back to pass. Going to look over the middle and find Osborne, but it's going to be broken up. So it's going to be third and 18 now running the no huddle. And uh, actually, um, Taylor was actually wide open on that play. It would have been a touchdown, but Wright's going to drop back to pass. Going to look over to the left-hand side. And it's going to be almost intercepted, but it will be broken up. So we'll have to punt the ball away again. Uh, I think the weather's getting to uh, the Duke Blue Devils uh, today, but uh, Moody's going to drive at the pass, first possession after the punt, and uh, he's going to look over the middle and find his man Calhoun for the first down. So now it's going to be first and ten, and uh, Moody's going to drive at the pass. He's going to pump fake, going to heave it deep over the middle of the field, and he's going to find Calhoun again. I think it's back to back same play. Now it's going to be second and ten after an incomplete pass, and uh, Moody is going to drive at the pass. He's going to look. And look, and look, and look. Got loads of time. He's going to finally find Hill on the left-hand side for a five-yard gain. So now it's going to be third and five for the Huskies of UConn. And Moody's going to drop back to pass. and going to look. Got loads of time again. Great protection. He's going to heave it deep down the middle of the field. Actually, down the left-hand side of the field. It's going to be broken up. So uh, they will have to punt the ball away themselves. So now... It's going to be first and 10 for Duke at the 20-yard line, and, and Wright's going to drop at the pass. They're going to look to the left-hand side and find Anderson, who's wide open for the nice 15-yard uh, yard gain on that play. So now it's going to be first and 10. Wright's going to fake the handoff to Stratton. Going to look on the right-hand side and find Osborne for a nice 6-yard pickup. So now it's going to be third and four after an incomplete pass. And uh, Wright's going to drop at the pass. He's going to look over the middle, and he's going to find Reyes for the first down. Almost to the 50-yard line. So now it's going to be first and 10 with translation. Second and 10 after an incomplete pass. And uh, Wright's looking to run a nice screenplay. He's going to look to the right. He's going to find Stratton on the screenplay. And Stratton's going to be tackled because there's nobody blocking on that play. So now it's going to be third and 14. After that, four-yard four yard loss. So now Wright's going to drop out a pass. Going to look deep over the middle of the field. He's going to find his man, Anderson, who drops the ball. So it'll be fourth and 15, 14. And uh, Wright's actually really hurt. His calf looks like to be tore up. So now it's going to be fourth and 14, and our backup quarterback comes into the play. And uh, getting the hand the ball off to Stratton on a reverse, really, and uh, he gets nowhere. So it's going to be turnover on downs. And uh, he's out with a strained calf right now. Uh, Strat uh, right is. So uh, big loss for us, but Moody's going to take over, and he's going to look to pass. He's going to find his man. Uh, which is actually going to be a first down. So with seven seconds left in the second quarter, uh, pretty much the end of the quarter or, or end of the half, really. But uh, they're going to hand the ball off to Allen. Allen's going to get the first down and more. And so with one second left, they're going to call a timeout. So they're going to come onto the field, kick a field goal. It is up, and it is good. So they go up 6 nothing at halftime. You can tell the weather is affecting this game on both sides because it's a low-scoring game. First and 10, first possession of second half. And uh, Allen gets completely stuffed in the backfield. So now it's going to be second and th uh, 13. And Moody's going to drive it to pass. He's going to look and look. He's going to heave it deep down the field. It's going to be almost intercepted by Mullins, but he breaks it up and gets it out of bounds. It's going to be third and 13. And Moody is looking to possibly run Allen, but he will go ahead and drop back to pass. And he will go ahead and get sacked on the play. That was Henderson. So uh, they will have to punt the ball away. So first and 10 for the Blue Devils. And uh, Wright's going to hand the ball to Stratton. And Stratton will get stuff behind the line for a two-yard loss. So after an incomplete pass, it's going to be third and 12. And Wright's going to go ahead and drop back the pass. Going to look over the right-hand side. And he will have his man, but it's going to be broken up. So it's going to be fourth and 12, running, no hurry, uh, running the hurry-up offense, no huddle offense. Wright's going to drop back the pass. And he will... Look over the left-hand side of the field, and he chooses to throw it to the left-hand side, but he throws it more into the middle. Uh, the ball must have slipped, and it will be intercepted. Um, I actually chose to throw it to the left-hand side, but he didn't do it. So it's going to be uh, first and 10 for the uh, Huskies, and he uh, Moody gets completely destroyed by Woodard on that blitz. So now it will be second and 16 after that six-yard loss. So now second and 16, Bradley's going to intercept this ball. Moody looking for his man on the right-hand side or left-hand side of the field. So uh, Bradley has another interception. I'm pretty sure he's intercepted a ball in every single game except for like one this season. So first and 10 for Duke. Wright's going to hand the ball to Stratton. Stratton has some nice daylight on the right-hand side for a nice five-yard pickup. So now it's going to be third and three after a two-yard pickup on the previous play. Wright's looking to go deep 
on this next play, running for vertical, and uh, he will look to his left. He got wide open, Anderson. Anderson doesn't make a play for the ball, so it's gonna be fourth and three now for Duke. And uh, Wright's looking to run the ball with Stratton again. It looks like, and uh, he's gonna go ahead and hand the ball off to Stratton. Stratton will get the first down, barely. And so now it's gonna be first and ten, which translates into second ten after a zero draw rush by Odom. And so uh, Wright's going to hand the ball off to Odom, and Odom's going to go right-hand side. Get a nice block. Odom has some daylight, and he is finally pushed out of bounds about the six-yard line. So close to the end zone, but so far away as we get another nice look at this play. Get some nice blocks, and actually number 10 right there gets uh, stopped uh, by uh, one of the blocks uh, unintentionally. So now it's going to be first and goal for Wright in this offense, and Wright's going to drop back to pass. Going to look over the middle. He's going to find Pruitt. Pruitt makes a one-handed catch. What concentration to make this catch as we get another look at this catch by Will Pruitt. Right looking and uh, look at that nice catch. What concentration uh, to get it into his hands and pull it down for a touchdown. Uh, great play. I uh, really respect him for that. So now it's going to be uh, first and 10 for uh, UConn as uh, Duke has finally got some points on the board and they are up 7-6 to six as a uh, Allen gets blown up in the backfield for a three-yard loss. So it's going to be second and 13. Moody's going to pitch left with Allen. Allen has some daylight. He's crossed the first down marker, and he is finally brought down about the 48-yard line. But they cross midfield. So it's going to be second and seven after a three-yard rush by Allen. And Moody is going to drive out a pass. He's going to look and look. He's going to look to his left. It's going to be caught, but it's actually going to be out of bounds. Uh, so it'll be third and seven. I think Bradley made a play for the ball and knocked it out of his hands. But it's going to be third and seven. Moody's going to drop by the pass. He's going to look over the middle. He's going to find Barber. And Barber has the ball and has the first down. Uh, kind of a lapse in coverage there, which was kind of disappointing. But after an incomplete pass, Moody is going to drop back to pass. And actually going to pitch to the right. Actually, he's going to find Allen. Allen makes a spin move, makes a man miss. He's going to finally be brought down about the three-yard line after getting the first down. So it's going to be first and goal for UConn. Looking to go up. On these Blue Devils, and uh, maybe defense can make a stop here as uh, he pitches left with Allen, and they do make a stop to so make it second and goal. So Moody getting denied by this by this Duke off uh, defense. So Moody's gonna drive by the pass. He's gonna look to the right. I'm gonna press X to tackle and actually hit start on accident, but they will score a touchdown. So now they're gonna go for two to make it a seven point game instead of it a uh, you know, really like a five-point game. So now Moody's going to drive by the pass. He'll look over the middle. He's going to find, actually to the left-hand side, find Allen for the two-point conversion. So they go up 14-7. to seven. Duke will get the ball back with plenty of time on the clock, though. So hopefully Duke can take advantage of this as Wright hands it off to Stratton. Stratton gets a nice pick of about five on the play, which translates in second to five now. Going to hand the ball off to Stratton again, and Stratton gets a first down. So moving the ball effectively uh, as time is winding down here, though. We have plenty of time, so it's going to be first and 10. Wright's going to hit the ball to Stratton. Stratton gets the corner and gets a nice pick of about six on the play. Uh, so second and four now for Duke. And uh, Wright's going to go ahead and hand the ball to Stratton again. Stratton will go up the middle and get the first down. So uh, this running attack is really taking uh, advantage of this weak running uh, UConn defense. And so now going to hand the ball to Odom. Odom gets a nice 10-yard pickup and the first down on the play. So Odom running effectively as well. So now... Wright's going to hand the ball off to Odom, and Odom's going to go up the middle and get a nice pickup of about 10 on the play, actually. So he'll get the first down on that. But after a one-yard rush by Odom, Wright's going to go ahead and give him the ball one more time on second and nine. And Odom go to the left-hand side, but bounce up in the middle and get tackled, but not before he gets a nice two-yard gain. So now it's going to be third and seven. Wright's going to drive out the pass, and he's going to look over the left-hand side of the field, and it will be broken up by UConn again. So now it's going to be fourth and seven. Hopefully, can get a first down here to uh, force a uh, force a better, you know, a, a good game. So he's gonna call an audible. Four verticals. Rice gonna drop out a pass. Gonna look deep down the field, and it will be intercepted by Jones. But uh, Jacobs will come back and make the tackle. If he had looked actually over to the other player right next to uh, Jacobs, it would have been a touchdown. He was wide open in the end zone. But UConn will take over. Moody's gonna drive ahead. Look to the left and find Hill, but Hill will be stuffed behind the line by Bradley by for a three-yard loss. On the play, so it's going to be second and 13, and Moody's going to go ahead and hand the ball off to Allen. Allen will get a nice crease, but will only get six yards on the play. So it's going to be third and seven. Duke's looking to make a stop. They have to make a stop here if they even want to stand a chance of winning this game. 
And uh, Moody's going to hand the ball off to Allen. Actually going to fake the handoff. He'll look over the middle and he's going to miss his man. And so they will have to punt the ball away. So Duke will get the ball about the 44-yard line. And Rice going to drive out the pass. He's going to look to his right. He's going to find Reyes. Reyes has an opening down the sidelines. He's finally going to be pushed out about the 20-yard line. So it's going to be first and 10 for Duke. And Wright's going to go ahead and call an audible. First down and 10. Drop back to pass. He's going to heave it deep. Down the third of the quarter of the end zone. Touchdown, Jacobs. Duke ties the game 14-14 with 56 seconds left on the game clock. So now it's going to be first and 10 for UConn. Moody's going to find his man, Calhoun, for the first down. So they are marching. Uh, so we need a big play on defense to possibly go up here. And so hopefully we can get one. Moody's going to drop back to pass. He's going to pump fake. Going to look over the middle. He's going to be picked off by Woodard. And Woodard has another interception on the season. That's a great play by him. What a clutch interception. And so now Duke can hopefully keep control of the ball and score on this possession to go up late in this game. So first down and 10, going to hand off the strat, and he gets a five-yard game but after an incomplete pass. We are two for 10 on third down uh, this game. So it's going to be third and five for the Blue Devils. And Wright's going to go ahead and drop back to pass. Going to look over the middle. He's going to find Osborne if he had looked to the left on the corners. Both his men on the corners, X and B, were open. But it's going to be fourth and five, trying to run no hur- uh, the no huddle offense. Fourth and five, Wright is going to go ahead and he will drop back to pass. And uh, he's going to heave it deep down left-hand side of the field. It's going to be picked off by Madison. I think the ball slipped on that one as well. And uh, there was no kind of power on that. So uh, UConn will take over with with 17 seconds on the clock. Uh, in pretty bad field position, but still pretty good because they sell the ball. So Moody's going to drop back to pass. going to look over the left-hand side. going to be caught by Hill for a four-yard gain. And so now 12 seconds left in the game, second and six. Moody is going to drop back to pass, and he will pump fake. He'll heave it over the middle and find Barber, and Barber has the first down, so that will stop the clock. Eight seconds left on the clock now. First and ten. All he can really do is now heave it up, possibly. And so now Moody's actually going to hand the ball off to Allen on a draw play, catch the defense off guard, but we do make the stop after a six-yard game by Allen. So it will be three seconds left. Second and four. UConn. Moody's going to drop back to pass, and he's going to heave it deep. Down the field. It's going to be picked off by Smith. And Smith is going to try to return this one. But he will be tackled. So we are going to overtime. So first play of overtime. They get the ball first. We actually won the toss. So we chose defense. And so now Moody is going to send Allen in motion. But Woodard's going to be there to step him, stop him behind the line. He will fumble the ball. But they will recover it. So it's going to be third and 13 after an incomplete pass. And so now Moody is going to drop out the pass. And he's going to look and look, he's going to look over the middle. He's going to find his man, Barber. I think it's actually Howard who drops the ball. It's going to be fourth and 13. They're going to try a field goal. And uh, the kick has a good hold. And it is up. And it is just short. He misses the field goal. So we take over the ball uh, at the 25. So we have a prime chance to score here but we're going to try to get closer and so Wright's going to hand the ball off to Stratton Stratton's going to go up the middle and get a nice pick of about 9 on the play so it's going to be 2nd and 1 he has 100 yards rushing on the day on 22 rushes so Stratton in one of his first games back from that injury uh, has a beast of beast of a game so far and, but uh, he will be stopped on 2nd and 1 so it will be 3rd and 2 now we are 2 for 11 on 3rd down conversions and uh, Wright's going to hand the ball off to Stratton on a draw play and Stratton will get the 1st down and more he is down about the 5 yard line I mean, first and goal, which translates to second and goal after a negative one-yard rush by Odom. And uh, we're going to hand the ball off to Odom. And Odom go to the left-hand side. And he will be stuck about the three-yard line. So it will be third and goal. And hopefully we can get in on this one or kick a field goal on fourth down. And Odom's going to take the right-hand side and get into the end zone. Touchdown, Duke. We win the game on this overtime touchdown uh, to take this one in UConn in Husky Country. Odom, the player of the game for that, really, in my opinion. But we will take this one. 20-14. to 14. Everybody's happy. In the rain. It's cold. Uh, everybody looks beat up. But again, final score on this one. Duke, 20. Connecticut, 14. And the player of the game is that deep touchdown pass to the corner of the end zone to Jacobs. Great find. He barely got his feet in. And so we're pretty lucky to get that as the UConn fans seem very disappointed in their team as they get up and leave, shaking their heads, which makes me feel good to be coaching 
a, a Blue Devils team that can do that to the opponent. To the opponent. So as uh, Harold Newman shakes hands with the other coach and Moody pounds the ground in frustration. He is muddy. He got pretty beat up this game. But your play of the game is Andrew Woodward with Woodard with four tackles, and he did have that great interception, and he did have some pretty big uh, behind the like in the backfield plays. Uh, but we will get another look at, at that nice Woodard, uh, sorry, not Woodard, uh, Pruitt catch in the end zone. Uh, that was a great catch. And we will also take a look at that catch by uh, Hurd in the end zone for Connecticut. And uh, that was a great catch by uh, Connecticut. So uh, next time, guys, uh, we will play Cincinnati in Cincinnati. Uh, hopefully we will have a good game against the Bearcats. Uh, we are actually 6-2 and two on the season, so we're having a good season so far. That was a great win in Connecticut. I'm very proud of this team, and so I hope you guys are as well. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time for the game in Cincinnati. See you guys next time. Bye.